to today's lesson on eTabs. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about more on the interface on eTabs. So we want to create different stories now. So what we can do is, the first you do is go to edit. Then you see edit stories and grid system. But if you don't want to go to that long route, you can just right click here and add a modify grid. So you see this. So now for our story data, we are going to modify and show story data. So the base is where our foundation is. Then the story one is the level of the first suspended. Some people use it as plinth beam, but in my case, I'm not using a plinth beam. So I'm going to be using it as my first suspended floor. So it's going to be on the part base. This structure is going to be on the part base. And we're also going to do it for pile foundation. So for the first one, I have my first floor. First floor. Then I have second floor. Then third. Okay. Then fourth. Okay. So I want to add more stories now. So I just right click on it. Add story and keep existing story heights. So you can see it yes okay so ch you can change the height if you wish to then click ok so you have the fifth floor so you can just continue that so add story so keep existing story height now next one again okay so i'll continue okay okay so let me rename it fourth fifth sixth this is the seventh, the eighth, and we have nine and ten. This is nine, and this is tenth. So the tenth is going to be the roof. Okay, so this is roof, and this is ninth. Okay, so you can refresh view, click OK. Now, the reason why it's not going to show in the 3D here is because we have no nothing showing on the plan so nothing is going to show the 3d but to make it easy for me and for all new users of the tabs you can close this 3d tab so click ok then close this since this is a plan we're working on majorly